Welcome to DTS TechFit. Today we're going to be learning about Unit 13, Website Development, and these are the distinction tasks. I will put a link in the description of the other videos that you need to watch in order to finish the P's and the M's. But for this session, it's only about the distinctions and it's going to be about distinction 3 and 4. So let's get to it. Oh wait. If you have not subscribed to us yet, please do so you don't miss out on all of our great videos on this channel. We're all about learning. So it's all about your IT and business. So I will be trying to add more stuff to it. But for now, these are the topic areas we're concentrating on on this channel. See you in a bit. So the next section on this lesson is that I'm just going to go through the aims. The aims we will be covering on here are um, aim C, develop and test the website, which most of us would have done already if you've gotten to this section of the assignment. And then there is the review. So once we have created the website, we are going to review our processes and techniques. We are also going to go through the objectives. The objectives for this session are for D3, Distinction 3, um, you will be refining the website to improve accessibility. So pay attention to the key aspect of this task. So we're going to improve accessibility and performance and we're also going to take into account user feedback and the test results. For D4, which is distinction 4, we're going to evaluate the final website and we're going to justify any changes we have already made. And then we're going to make recommendations for further improvement. Is this is the D3. So for the D3, I have broken it down into three different sections. So you can see the different areas that you need to work on. So first, we're going to refine the website and we're going to add some or we're going to improve user accessibility. Then we are going to refine the website to improve performance. So if you're um, website is a bit slow and you need to work on making images or videos um, files smaller so that your website can run faster. We need to do that. Then the final section is that we're going to um, collect feedback. So from the feedback that we've collected, we're going to make changes as well. And we're going to make reference to feedback in or report writing. For the next, I'm just going to show you an example. The example on here, and um, this is literally what we just went through on the other slide, sorry, on the other slide. Um, this is only an example, as I usually say in my other videos, these are only an example of work that's been done. So use it as a guide, guys. I won't be reading through it. I'm just going to pinpoint certain areas on here. Can you see that this learner has actually made reference to feedback? That is a great point. That's a great thing to do that will help um, to show the examiner that you know what you're doing and you're working through um, the assignment as required and it talks about the loading loading is a part of your performance and we also talk about the different assets and how they work and how he has improved that so it's a good way to put key information into the assignment so we can see that you understand what you're talking about your d so for your D4, I've actually split it out into three different sections as well, sections. Um, first, 
Let's look at it. It says evaluate the final website against the design and justify any changes made, making recommendations for further improvements. I've gone in and I've, um, so I'm just going to move something right here and I've broken it down into two, sorry, into three different sections. So we're going to evaluate the final website against the design, which means you're going to look at your design, your design specification and your design. You're going to um, take snips. You're going to look at it from the design in terms of when we designed it in storyboard. So you snip that and then the end product so the final website you're going to look at it so you're going to look at your home page your design in your prototype so your design in powerpoint that we did and then you're going to look at the design um, image of the one you did in Dreamweaver or whatever application you're using. Then you're going to compare and contrast and then you're going to justify and say why you have done this. An example of how you could do this is that you could say, okay, well, we spoke to the client and the client has requested that we change the background color as it was a bit dark. Or we might, um, or the client might have requested you change the theme of the website. It's up to the client what they want, and they will, 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 will. As I said, they will always give you um, feedback. But it's up to you to use your judgment and to see what you're capable and what you're able to do with the resources that you you have been given. Um, so I've spoken about the justification of the changes and the website design. So once you have both images, so you can use it for your homepage or any web page on that website that you have made major changes on, or if the changes do span across all the website like for example if you change the logo if you change the template that um change the, the entire layout of the website you need to explain why and you need to justify these changes then the final bit is that you're going to make recommendations always take into consideration what the client has asked you for um, you might make recommendation as to say this what is what i would have done um, it could be that you had a time limitation, so you want to put them together and you want to say for the time limitation, um, as a result of the time limitation, sorry for that pause, as a result of the time limitation, I wasn't able to do um, this, like for example, um, add the text to speech feature um, as required and you want to say why and and which is a result of the time restriction, yes. Um, or you had to learn how to make the website. So it's due to the limitation or the restrictions that you would have had, which sometimes can lead to um, what you needed to improve or might have improved. Have you had the time and the resources for that? section is literally just an example of how um, the recommendations can be written up. Please do not start a sentence. You see I'm circling this not here. Please do not start your sentence with a not. And I am going to also take the time now to say you need to ensure that you have proper grammar you have written in a way that we can see that you don't have an issue with your grammar sometimes if you cannot because like me I sometimes cannot spot my own mistakes so if you're like me and you cannot do that get someone who you trust to proofread for you or you can use Grammarly Grammarly is a resource that you can use to proofread and it does help you out with your work I'm not going to read it through just read it see if it will help and make changes and adjustment and remember this is all these on here as you can see as well have highlighted constraints in red you cannot pass without your recommendations you can't pass without your constraints so you have to ensure you specify and write about your constraints which could include time limitations it could be the fact that you 
um, did not have the proper software, the proper resources. Um, so those could be a part of your constraints. So have a read of this and I hope it does help use it as a guide. This bit as well is a part of the distinction bit where you're gonna write up how you have actually refined the website. On here, the person who wrote up this assignment did not give um, evidence in terms of images. I love to see images because it does show that you did actually um, do what you are claiming to have done. So that's evidence. These are only examples on here because I love to give the, um, the learner the opportunity to see what has been done before and if um, you're along, you're doing the correct thing. So I hope these slides do help you. I am not going to read it through. It's only for purely for example and as a guide that I have placed this information of an example of what has already been done and passed. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to us yet, what are you waiting for? You don't want to miss out on all these awesome videos. Please subscribe to us to support our channel and I will see you in the next video.